welcome back to my channel. My name is Ronelle. Um, so this morning what I'm going to be doing is, a, well it's not going to be quick. Um, so last night I washed all of my makeup brushes, like all of them. And a lot of them are still drying. Um, because by the time that I am doing this, it is 8.53 in the morning on Tuesday. <coughs> now normally I would be at work at this time, or on my way to work. However, I've taken the whole week off to go ahead and get things settled, such as my Thimmin Studio, get my makeup room back in order and stuff like that. So, I just decided to go ahead and get up this morning and start filming. And then I realized I really couldn't do a whole lot, simply because my makeup brushes are still wet. I did get lucky and have one brush. That is completely dry and this is what I'm going to be using for powder. Now you're wondering why I'm probably doing all this information. It is because a lot of the stuff is going to be cream. So this is going to be like a cream kind of thing and I'll only be using a beauty sponge. That's it. Except for my powder which I'm trying a new powder out today and I will show you that in a few moments. Now, before we get started, I'm going to go ahead and wash my face um, with the e.l.f. Makeup Remover Cleansing Cloth. I do like these. I haven't worn makeup in a couple of days, probably about three or four days. So that's the reason why I'm just going to use this and then I'm also going to be... Uh, using the moisturizer, um, I'm sorry, my moisturizer is going to be Garnier Skin Active Brightening with Lemon and Calomel, which looks like this right here. And of course, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Eye Refresh. Um, and then for my eye drops, I'm going to be using Clear Eyes Redness Relief because I do have allergies and they were driving me nuts at this time. So I'll go ahead and do that and let's get started. And if you are wondering, yes, I do have one of my animals. He is laying on my filming table as we speak. So if you hear stuff being knocked over or anything like that, moved, it's him. He's the biggest baby that I've got. And I don't want to move him because he's been outside all morning. And it's going to storm again today. Okay, it stormed here yesterday when I was doing my clothing haul, which will be up before this video I think it's going to be either before or after and it was raining very very badly oops let me just grab my mirror I can have it in front of me now I probably won't be doing the big um, makeup look or anything like that because I don't plan on going anywhere. I was going to go walking this morning and then I checked the weather and it is going to be storming. And yes, I do have my nose pierced. That is what that is right there. So don't panic or freak out if you see that. It's simply and I was piercing that I don't get to wear a whole lot. You know what? Mm, yeah, okay. So then what I'm going to do is take this a nice. Because I have been away for maybe not even an hour at this point in time. My husband just called and talked to me while we'll going his break. And I'm just... I don't want to be up this early. When you're on vacation... Or as I call it, a staycation because I'm staying at home. <laughs> um, then you don't want to be woke up. But talk to him, I'll wake up. And then I was already like, oh, I'll just go ahead and feel. Okay. Oh, and by the way, this is really good. It does have like a tip on the, um, like a metal ball. I've had this for about a year or two. I'm not sure how long you're supposed to keep stuff like this, but I really like it. It really like kind of depuss my eyes under there, which is really really good. I have for my eye drops. Oh. 
no stink so bad. Um, oh yeah. If you hear animals running, just ignore that. That's Bella, my dog. And if you've seen my clothing haul, then you've seen her. So what I want to do, because my skin has been so dehydrated lately, um, I'm not drinking enough water actually, so that's the reason why it's been so dehydrated. And again, the reason why I'm doing this is because all of my brushes are dirty. Not dirty, they're clean, but they're still not completely dry. And I'm not crazy about that. It took me over two hours to get them suckers clean. Because I just don't like cleaning them. I would buy new brushes and use them so they're dirty before I would clean my brushes. That's just the way it is. Okay, so I'm going to put all this stuff out of the way. Oh, and I also have the MAC lip conditioner. Um, the other one is in my purse, which is in the living room. And I'm not about to go get it because my son's still asleep. Okay, I'm not sure if it's raining or if that's just our conditioner because it is it's generally humid and hot. <laughs> okay, so we are going to try to have problem. I'll just use concealer. Yeah, I'll just use concealer. Okay, so what we're going to do is I am going to go ahead and take that out for right now. Yeah, you're going to have it in. So my nose looks a little red and I look like Rudolph. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and and get started with the face. Sorry, I don't have much room because my cat is up here. Okay, so what we're doing today is just like I said, a really quick, hopefully quick makeup look. This way I've been talking. Yes, this this is my life. And for my primer today, I'm using two like I normally do because I do have pores and I have to use certain ones. Um, I am using the Becca Evermatte Poreless Primer Perfector and this, it's about out actually. I love that. So I'm going to be using that around my nose, which is where I mostly get... Um, where I have pores at, sorry. It's still early in the morning and I'm just not completely woke up. My animals are already running and jumping. Running around and stuff like that. Sure, there's that. Um, oh, I'm sorry, but your bed's in my way. And then I'm going to be taking the uh, Sephora Luminous Foundation Primer. It's like this. You really don't get a whole lot in it. It's like 15 milliliters, so it's like 0 0.5 fluid ounces. I've had this for a while because I did buy it on sale. Um, and this is the actual bottle. This is not like a sample size or anything like that. This is the actual size that I got. And I thought it was like, oh, going to be bigger. But it's not. So what I'm going to be doing is just take this. And put that on the thing to get her off of it. Okay, so 
That's what it looks like. It's just, I don't know how to explain it. It's just like a white base with like some shimmers and stuff in it. Um, so I will be going ahead and dotting this around the bows. As you can tell, I don't know if you can tell or not, but it's like white. But it does have like a pink undertone to it. I don't like the smell of it. But it's okay. I'm trying to use some of my makeup up. Makeup up that I've been using for a while before I buy any more of it. it is, I don't know if you can tell or not, but see, it's falling up right through there. And I'm not crazy about that at all. And this is a Clean Beauty Blender. This is actually a new one I've never used before. This particular one. I do have one like it that I've used. But it is also dirty. I've got like six of them sucking right now. Probably more than that. Because I cleaned like three of them. The other day and they came very very clean I'm using Dodge dishwashing liquid so what I'm doing is I'm simply going ahead and patting that into the skin um it really I mean I can't tell the difference if it actually makes my makeup stay longer or not um so I'm just putting that all over my face I don't think I'll worry about it I honestly don't even think they have this for sale any longer but if they did I wouldn't buy it I mean, that's just the way it is because I have dry skin, but I put a good amount of moisturizer on and I'm letting all this sink into my skin for right now because I am going to go ahead and do my eyes, but I have been drinking more water because my skin's been dehydrated so bad. Um, so I just, some of my makeup, I just don't like the way it lays on my skin. Um, and it could be because it is dehydrated, which is my fault, but at the same time, some of the makeup is just kind of, uh, you know. Okay, so while we are doing that, I'm going to go ahead and grab my, if I keep from dropping stuff. So for a palette. Now, one thing you may not know is I am crazy about, <laughs> thank you, just, she has a good hearing lady beside her brother. He's going to start me out here in a minute. So, one thing I like is this right here. Um, these are Makeup Peak eyeshadows, so they're not very expensive or anything like that. Now, this is really my go-to kind of palette, or when I make it myself and stuff like that. But again, this was like a limited edition Um Z palette and I got two of them and these are magnetized so what I'm going to be doing is taking well first I've got to prime my eyes with my concealer that's what I've got to do first <coughs> what, what are you doing okay you know what I'll, I'll just move my stuff Wait till I get in my family room. I have a, a good size filming table, but the way that my two cats are laying right now. No. They're not now. So I'm trying to make my away from them too um okay so so just lay your fat honey and down whiskers i'm going to be taking my concealer and yes my makeup my eyeshadow palette is open and it is down in my lap so that their hair won't get in it because that drives me nuts and simply 
Beauty Blender. And just kind of tap that in there like that. So this is dirty way too easy and that's one thing I don't like about it because I honestly didn't even use that much concealer on my eyes um, I did forget my eye primer and I just I'm just not even going to get up and get it um to be completely honest so I will then in for the eyes like I said this is just going to be a quick look hopefully not too long at all. Okay. So, go ahead. I'll be back. Okay, so I have zoomed you all in a little bit. I cannot do it too far because if I do, <laughs> I'm, I'm scary looking. Um, when I'm zooming in there close, I'm like, no, I don't want to scare you all. So, what I'm going to be doing is taking my oh, what is this called? Oh, yeah. I'm going to put that in my lap for now. Um, and I want to set my eyes higher in my way. So I do have this new powder. It's the Cody Airspun Least Face Powder. Tati raves about this like crazy. Um, and I've heard several other people say it's really good and stuff. So I did pick it up. And it is huge. It's like six bucks. You cannot beat that. So, And it does come with a puff, which... I might use actually after all. Um, if you hear uh, a cat, he's. Okay. Can, can, nope. Okay. Well, you know what? I just gotta grab that brush. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ooh. ooh. Oh, okay. And I've got two other ones. I do have five animals all together, if I, in case I did not tell you all. Um, I've got four cats and one dog. She's a Jack Russell. She came from my neighbors. And the other cats that I have, um, two of them came from my mother-in-law because a cat decided to have babies up at her house. So one of them came from her and another one actually came from her neighbor. I'm sorry. Um, because he found a stray cat. She didn't know he was pregnant. Took it home. She had the babies. Um, and I got one of them. Because somebody else decided that they wanted to have them for um, outside cats. For like the barn I think. Like that. So before... They got the rest of the cat kittens. I decided to get one. He's three. My Chanel is two. Whiskers is my son's cat. He's three. Chanel is my cat. She's two. Then I have a another one that is actually my grandfather baby. That's Whiskers baby. Where I had him fixed. Uh, she's over one. Then I have, a, well, she's a dog. She's going to be a dog next month. She's going to be a year old. July the 16th. She came from my neighbor. And I lo love my dog. She's a Jack Russell. She's mean. Then I have another cat that came from a girl at work. Um, he's a Siamese. He's gorgeous. And his name's Tucker. He's my husband's cat. So you will be seeing those in my videos for right now. I'm sorry if it annoys you, but they're mine, and they're like my little babies. I'm just going to see if I can pull that out. Okay, so the chit chat, let's go in with this. I'm just taking a brush and trying to set that. 
it's not turning out so well and now I have powder <laughs> love my shirt <laughs> yay okay anyway so what we are going to be doing is just a really simple eye makeup look it probably is not going to seem like that I know he's sorry huffing and puffing because I'm taking too long okay hold on one second Okay, so sorry about that. My video, almost, my camera almost died, so I had to plug it up to an AC adapter. So I do apologize if the angle is a little bit different or a little bit off um, than what it was before. Um, so as I was saying, what I'm going to do is go ahead and um, do my eyes. Um, let me see. Yep, okay. So I will be taking a wet and wild brush. This is just a everyday brush that I like to use and I'm taking the color let me get it here I'm taking the color cream brulee but make it big oops let me get it there because I do like this color for like an everyday look let me get my mirror in here what I'm doing is just sweeping this all over my lid, as you can tell, to make sure that everything is set. And I like to make sure I have a good transition color up here to make sure everything is good to go. Especially if I do like a big blown out smoke, smoke eye or something like that, which I've been doing a lot lately and I don't know why. Um, it's just, I like it. Normally, I take my wet and wild um, cream or brulee, a brulee, brulee, or something like that, and use, but since I've got some of my makeup set out for other videos that I'm thinking, planning on filming. Um, I'm not sure exactly where it's at, and I just honestly didn't want to look for it. The way I like to do it is I like to bring it all over my eyelid and up in the crease too. And now I'm going to take. <coughs> okay, so I had to go on there and delete a bunch of. Um, videos because they was taking up way too much space on my card which I did not realize oh my gosh okay so anyway what I'm going to do next is take the color I have to be careful because I got nails and I don't want to destroy it um tan lines which is this color right here it's also by makeup geek um what I'm going to do is take that same brush um, and focus it more right here in the crease just to Misty you're going to have to move That was misty. I just got up here and knocked a bunch of my stuff over. Okay, anyway, I'm just taking this in the crease like this right here. I'm darkening it up just a little bit more. And then unrolling two. And I blend till my fingers hurt. I will sit here for 
hours blending constantly just blending to get it just the way I want it to look and these usually are very very pigmented so you really don't need a whole lot of them but like I said very lightly I've just been going for like very I don't know like dark eyes for some reason and I'm not sure why I want to pick up a little bit more over here and yes I am just using the same brush um to blend all of this out I know a lot of people is going to be like eh, but it's fine I'm the only one that uses them and this is a it's like I said it got clean like that okay Now, also, the way I like to do this is if you get some like right over here, it's completely fine. Um, I just take a makeup bob and wipe it off usually. So, um, actually, because I don't have any of my stuff over here. Let me do it. Yes, I think I do. I do, I do, I do. Sorry, I had to raise my cat's tail up to get to my brushes. Yep. He knows I'm talking about it. So I'm taking a Morphe B38 brush and just going in and blending this. And this is a very clean brush. I really don't like this brush, but I did use it. I'm sorry if you hear me moving. Um, my chair is leather and I've got shorts on and it's extremely humid today. That's all I'm doing right there. Like I said, I make sure everything is extremely blended. Because I do not like it if it does not look blended. And I'm, again, drinking this. I'm about out. A bit. I am going to go in with oh, crap. this shadow. This is called Sorcery. It is a fold eyeshadow. It's really, really super pretty. I am going to be taking <coughs> a wet, oh, this is a crown brush, my bad. That was wet model. This brush back crown. And I'm not going to wet it or anything like that. Actually, I forgot my sprays over there. Well, as you can tell, it's very, very pigmented. So I'm going to tap the excess off and just go in and leave it down on the other. So now what we're going to do is just go back in and blend that eyeshadow right there.
I'm very careful so that it does not get in the crease or anything like that where we put the brown colors up. And if we do get some of that color up in the crease by accident, it's completely fine. What I'll do is I'll actually go back with the wet mod. I think, yeah, this is my wet mod brush with a little bit more of that first brown color that we took. And just sweep it over. Since it is a lot color, it will not bother the dark that we placed. Easy way of cleaning it up. Like that right there. I'll be back in just a couple of moments. I'm going to go ahead and put my eyelashes on and do my eyeliner and stuff like that. But I will show you what I am using when I come back. Welcome back. So I went ahead um, and it took me a few minutes to fix my eyelashes and stuff like that. Hello. So whoever it was obviously did not want to talk to me. So, okay, so I do apologize for that. Um, we did have to do another thing because my phone rang. Whoever it was didn't want to talk to me. So anyway, it did take me a few minutes to go ahead and fix my eyelashes. Um, and they didn't want to go on. Um, so the, what I used, I used the Vintage uh, Smoky Eye Pencil in Jet Black for my eyeliner. Um, it's just like a regular pencil that you have to sharpen. And then I did use the Demi Wispies by Ardell. This is my second pair of them. This is probably like, I've used these like so many times. Um, but the glue that I used um, is the House of Lashes Eyelash Adhesive. It's just a white glue. Normally I prefer the one from uh, Kiss. Or no, not Kiss. Uh, Elf. Not Elf. I cannot think of the name of it. It's it's my favorite one. I'm not sure the name of it, but it's my favorite one. Um, so I am giving this another try. I have not used this in a while, so that's the reason why I'm going ahead and using this. Um, but yeah, hi there. Um, that's whiskers. Whiskers. And my son. He's helping me record again. So I'm just gonna go ahead and. <coughs> this over here um and try to get to the rest of my makeup that he's currently hiding on me now what i'm going to do is go ahead and do my eyelashes no my eyebrows i'm sorry before i do the rest of my face lower this video it's gonna be a hot hot mess i can done tell right now okay so what i'm going to use for the primer is the Bravo Conditioning Primer by Benefit. So, um, thank you, Whiskers. And my son thinks this is hilarious. Um, Nicholas Hush now. So, all I'm doing with this is I am brushing them into kind of a shape. A shape. Um, and this will actually hold it. Um, for all day. Whiskers, you're going to have to move your big head. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry real quick. Um, I've already got my foundation, not my foundation, um, all of my other stuff on. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab the rest of my makeup. Um, that way I can show you what we will be using for the face today. Okay. You need to find one spot and you need to lay, okay? 
just hopping up and down and getting all in my Video. personal space here is not working, Whiskers. <laughs> yeah, you can see his big head because he's right in front of my camera. Yeah. And I hate to make him move because he loves to lay up here. And now my dog's chin on my leg. Okay, nice. that is not a bone to chew on, Bella. Thank you. Well, she thinks it is. She's wrong. Okay, she's just wrong. Well, it's a bone. She and for what I'm going to be using today for my, um, is a tint. You need to quit. That's the reason why he's doing that. I'm using the Brow Gal Instant Brown Hair Tinted Brow Gels. Tinted Brow Gel with Microfibers. This is in the color Brown Hair 02, which matches me perfectly because I do have brown hair. Um, <coughs> so it does have a little wand like that right there. Well, I'm sorry. That's You're like, like, that that like, is that mine? So what <laughs> I'm going to be doing is simply brushing this in my eyebrows. I've been liking this lately. <laughs> Nicholas, would you please stop, son? I know it's funny, but I'm trying to record. Don't look at me like that, Whiskers. There we go. Now that is just my eyebrows filled in. I need to go in and fill this one in just a little bit more with this. Maybe. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse your eyes look huge. I'm going to let that dry um, and then I will go back over it with this since like I said most of my makeup is in boxes for me to film with um, I just don't really feel like going through it so what I will be doing is using this as like a um, gel which it's kind of like a hack since it sets it all day when you first put it on it also works to put it on again There we go, and now we'll get to the face. Okay, so we are back, so I can finish the rest of the face. Now I went ahead, eyebrows are done, I, um, eyes are already done, I'm not going to do anything else. So the foundation that I will be using today is going to be, let me fix that. The foundation that I'm going to be using today is going to be Burms, Mer, Bar, oh my gosh, Bar Minerals, Bar Minerals, Bare Skin, Bar Skin, Bar Minerals, Bar Skin, Pure Brightening Serum Foundation. This is the first one that they came out with. This is a sample size. Um, I bought this last year, and I've still not used it. Um, I did have the brush that came with it, but I'm not sure what happened to that. I think I may have gave it to my sister, but I'm not 100% certain on that. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and shake this up where it's been sitting for so long. It's been a couple of months since I've used it, but I do really like it. Oh, and this is in the color Bare Shell 02 because this is the only one that will, because um, I'm not self tan or anything like that, so this is the only one that I have out that will actually match me. Um, normally my Fenty Beauty is an exact match, but I've got that put up because where I've normally been self-tanning. 
So since it's already been shook up, it is a drop kind of um, foundation. I'm looking for my sponge. There it is. So we are just going to Ooh, ooh, okay, that's not supposed to be like that. But it is very thin, very runny, very liquidy. So it's supposed to be coming out in drops. And which it kind of did, kind of didn't. So I'll make throw my hair back and we'll get on with that. Okay. So yes, you can hear it thundering. Um, it is getting ready to storm again at my house. It's been thundering for quite a while now. Um, it's not raining just yet, but you know, it eventually will. What we're doing right now is just pouncing this into the skin. Oh, don't drink so. Don't drink what? But like you're saying, it's not raining yet. Oh, it will. Don't drink so. Okay. Okay, so what I'm doing right now, um, besides, you know, trying to get my makeup on and talking to my son, <laughs> is I'm housing this in with this beauty blender. If you can hear it, I feel like I'm beating myself up with it. I don't like this much. I don't know where I got it from. I don't know what brand it is, but I don't like it. I wonder, did I get this from Miss AOA? I, I'm not really sure to be honest with you. So I am going to have and pounce on that back up there. And I did take my nose ring out earlier simply because I do not want to get foundation and stuff all over it. Um, I'll have to go back over that second and inhale. This is a really, really light coverage. Um, like I said, this is the first one that they have. And I have the second one. Um, liquid, and one liquid foundation that they have out too. Um, and to be honest, I like both of them, but this is really, um, it's really not even a foundation, um, but I have been taking way better care of my skin, so you cannot tell I have, um, rosacea on my cheeks, and I didn't use a color crutch or anything like that, so this is I mean, it, it does really good on the skin. I mean, it lays very well. And it does make your skin seem brighter. But at the same time, I'm just, I, I'm not a big, like, I like it, but I'm not, it's not my favorite. The other one I like a lot better. And it's like the bare skin one. Um, but I like it a lot better. Because this one is just, it's just a serum. Um, so it's very, very lightweight. And I'm using it because I have actually been having a very good skin lately. Where I've been trying to take a lot better care of it. But I have noticed. And this is just the first world problem, I know. But when I have my eyebrows waxed, for some reason they are not... The foundation and concealer that I'm using is not wanting to set right on top of it. Um, so I'm not sure if it's, you know... The wax or something but I do know that um, it's not been sitting where they wax my eyebrows and I have tried different foundations with it and you can hear it's got like a little ball in it black spray, spray paint my son said and I just don't know why I wiped it all over my leg but I'm not going to make a pop right there another thing I don't like about this is you have to squeeze the bottle really really hard to get the product out and I do not like doing that so I want to go over my nose Um, I just blend that in. I am loving this eye look. I mean, it does lay pretty well on the skin, you know. I do have um, some forehead wrinkles 
because I don't do fillers or anything like that. You know, I just love to make facial expressions, as you probably already know, but um, it does cover that up fairly well, which I do have a deep scar there um, that I've had since I was like five or six years old, and I'm like 32. Um, so it's been there for a long time. Now, nothing can cover that up. I mean, so I don't, honestly, don't even, it doesn't even bother me anymore. But, I mean, you really honestly can't even see it. It's like right here. Um, but they say when I was younger, it was moving up. It just, it's just stayed. So there's nothing that will cover that up. And just in case anybody has ever wondered. Um, I did fall down the stairs at school. I was running and I tripped over my own feet. That's how clumsy I am. And I fell down the stairs and those big thick double doors that you have, I hit with my forehead. But it busted my head open. I was bleeding everywhere. Everybody was like freaked out. And I did have to go have like three or four stitches put in my head. And that's what made me fear needles. Um, I do have tattoos and piercings. Like my nose is pierced, my stomach's pierced, my ears are pierced. <laughs> but I just, I hate needles. Um, and it was because of that. And because of this i also have one eyebrow i think it's this one i'm like right through here if you ever notice it's hardly ever um filled in because there is a scar there and i do have them all over my nose and stuff like that but they're very faint very small scars the biggest one is right here and that is because like i said i hit that door and they had to rush me to the emergency room from what i can remember it was um in a school bus i think i could totally be wrong about that but that's, you know, it was very bad. My grandmother had to hold me down um, in the room along with my mom, I believe, or my aunt. Um, because they wouldn't put me out because I had a head injury. And I was just like, no, 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 no. <laughs> so, lesson learned. Do not run, fall down steps, or you will fall and hurt yourself. Okay, so we are done with that. Now, I do like to <laughs> sit and talk and blend in my foundation while I do that. Um, simply because I like to make sure that my foundation is going to go into my skin and sit. Now, what I'm going to be using along with that Bare Minerals Bare Skin is the, found the uh, not the foundation, the concealer that matches it. Now, this is what is also on my eyes. Um, it's Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer in the color me medium. Oh. Okay, hopefully this is not too dark. And yes, I did take the stopper out, which was a big mistake. Don't do that if your concealer is full. Only do it when it's almost empty because if you do it when it's full, it's going to make a mess. Because I done that one day and thought, oh, it's such a great idea. And I did every single one of them like that. And it was not a great idea. At all. So barely just putting that right there. And then I'm going to go down here and cover my nose. With that concealer. Because I do have redness around my nose, which is just part of life for women. Just hormones. If you cannot fight hormones, you will lose. So what I'm doing is just taking and making this ugly face so that I can get in there. Because I do have like little nooks and crannies in there. And I will take like this right here. I will pull my nose to the side. I know. Such a cute look. And just kind of pounce that in. And then, since it did not go on my nose, I promise, so don't freak. I'm just going to go ahead and start blending this into my under eyes. Now, it's a little bit dark for this, but we're going to make it work. We will make it work, I promise. So then I'm going to the other side. I 
as you can tell, it is very, very music that's my son playing music in his room okay so before we set the face with any kind of powder we are going to go in with some um, cream products so first what I'm going to do is actually take my wet and wild cushion um, contour in the color cafe cafe I'll slay I think I'm not sure if that's the word or how you pronounce it now it does um, come off like that it does have like a little puff in it oh yeah I keep that in there because the other thing came off so what I am going to do is take and dab that in there and Around that down beside my cheek. I did watch a video yesterday, and she said that if you really wanted that sunken in cheekbone look, to take it all the way to the corner of your mouth, which I hardly ever do. So that's not working too well. I'm um, actually. going to take and try that and see how it looks. She said take it to the corner of your mouth. I'm not sure I'm going to like this. But in case it does not work, I have a trick up my sleeve. Go ahead, pounce that in. My beauty blender. Yep, now it's starting right off in here. Yes, Bella, that's thunder. She does not like thunder whatsoever. And now she's running in the living room for some reason. It could be because this is almost dried out. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm gonna have to. Oh, there we go. Okay. Could just be that beauty blender. Okay. So I took the pad that it came with and pushed in there. I'm gonna have to take some oil and put it in there. And now I'm just blending out on top of my forehead so this is it it feels dry like the contour feels completely dry okay and then I'm gonna take what's left and run it under to put this to the side I'm going to okay so in case you missed that that was through my animals knock my mirror over just put it against the door um yeah thank god okay so what we're going to do next is take the wet and wild cushion highlight illuminator and see if this is any better than that contour was and we it is in the color who's that pearl 
So, oh, that's dried up too. Nice. this is, is I have not even had these that long maybe about a couple months which it could totally be my thought I don't know but we're just going ahead and putting it on you can't even tell so I will be looking into this too to try to fix that so I did just in case that didn't work I did come up with this liquid highlighter liquid highlighter from Makeup Revolution in the color Liquid Starlight. So, I mean, you can tell I've got some contour on, but it's not like. Ooh. Okay, so what I'm going to do is. of this excess off and just blend it in very 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 pigmented which is what I like that right there was a little bit too much but you know what it's okay it's okay we are just playing around with oh my gosh Okay, you know what? We'll just take and kind of spread that over. We're going to be very regularly. I do not recommend the sponge. It sucks. <laughs> I mean, it really. I'm having to spread everything with it. It's not wanting to pounce or anything like that. Instead of using that sponge for my blush, I'm just going to use my fingers. I hate to do that, but again, it's the only and I am using the color Peach My Cheeks by Too Faced. It is their melted cream color. Yes. Some of that was. Oh, it's a cream bleach. Yeah. I tell I can tell I'm recording. <laughs> Show me that. I did. Oh. This is the color it is supposed to be.
that is what it is. It's a melting powder blush infused with peach. Oh, the color's peach dream. My bad. Sorry. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe my fingers because it did stain. And then I also have another blush. It's actually a beach tint shimmer souffle and guava and moonstone by Becca. Um, this is in a little pot like this right here. That's the name of it. So I'm going to take my other finger and kind of Add a little bit more color. And then I'm almost done. I've got to set the face, of course, with that new powder. This is, I don't like this. So I'm going to knock some of it into the lid. Oh, and by the way, you get a lot of this. You get like 2.3 ounces, which is a lot for a powder. So then we're just going to set the face as soon as I can beat some of that in there with the big fluffy brush from Aesthetica, P12 brush. Smells good. And this is in the color translucent because I do want the makeup to still sh shine through. But because it's all um, peach and stuff like that, or not peach, um, cream and stuff, I don't want it to move. Even though I'm not going anywhere. Okay. I'm going to take the puff that came with it, dip it in there, kind of like put it in half, press it into my under eyes. That way, that concealer and highlighter does not move. I do not want to be creasy at all. Then, if you feel like you've my trick, sorry. Ugh. That I was going to show you is if you ever bring your contour too low take um you can take a sponge and do this but i'm going to take a brush and do it because that sponge i'm not feeling and kind of like run it below it and it cleans that up And there you oh I forgot my lip color which is in the color Milan it's the Milani more matte lip cream in the color 12 left And there we have it. Um, this is the finished look. I'm going to go ahead and put my nose ring back in before I forget it or lose it. I don't want to do that. If I can get it in. So 
so there you have it um i did put my nose ring back in and stuff like that so i would not lose it or forget it um so there is the completed look took my headband off hurry a little bit um I don't know how I like it to be honest. I think I would like it a lot better if I had a better sponge that would blend everything out. Um, the two wet and wild. I'm not sure how they dried out or anything like that, but I will try to fix them to put some oil in them or something like that. Um, but so far, I mean, the rest of it I really do enjoy. Um, the powder. I'm not sure how I feel about it to be honest. Everybody else loves it, but. I just have to wear it throughout the day and see. Like I said, I'm just going to chill at home. Um, do whatever needs to be done here, I guess. Um, but yeah, I will come back later and let you all know how I feel about it. Um, so I will see you all in a few hours. Bye. So I am doing a quick check-in. Um, on this makeup look so so far it looks okay the lighting where I'm at in the makeup room is not the best I am not in front of my ring light or anything like that oh my gosh so as you can tell this is what I'm doing right there those two and then this one and that one and that kid and there was another one in here where did she run off to okay Anyway, I am doing? doing a check-in on my makeup. If these animals will let me without knocking my stuff over. So anyway, this is the way it looks as of right now. I'm going to let my son have the camera. Um, that way he can kind of like film it. Now, the foundation is done okay. It's been about an hour since I've done all of this. And um, the highlights... Um, the Wet n Wild highlight and the contour, I'm really still not feeling. I don't like it, especially since it has dried up so quickly. Now, the powder is looking a lot better because I did spray my face with some setting spray. It was actually the Hard Candy Brightening Sure Envy Vitamin C Rose Water stuff, whatever. So I did spray this on my face and it seemed to melt everything together. So it is looking a little bit better. Tucker, would you please quit? No, 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 no. So I will be back after a while to show you the rest of the look. I'll do it in about two hours, okay? So I have went ahead and took the makeup off already. It was really starting to bother me. I could not stand it any longer. However, the final result was it was it wore very well while I had it on, but for some reason my skin started to itch. I'm not sure if it was the primer or anything like that, but I have noticed a couple of breakouts that is happening along this way. Um, so I'm not sure exactly what happened. But I thought I would just go ahead and let you all know how I felt about it. I really did like the powder that I used. Um, it it done very good. Now the other two items that I had questions about or that was questionable was the Wet n Wild. Um, let's see. The Wet n Wild highlighter and the bronzer. I probably will have to toss those. Those are no good. I don't know what happened to them for them to dry out so quickly, but they did. Um, so I will try to put some oil in them, but if they that doesn't work, then I will just go ahead and toss them. So I just thought I would go ahead and let you know what I liked and how it's ended. But thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you in my next video.